Yeah, we're just going to hit it. On the left-hand side is as far as we've gotten with the rhythm we're happy with. On the right-hand side is the said rhythm. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change, Part 17, Letting Be. In today's episode, we re-entered, reflecting, it's time to hunker down on our new song transcription work. You just heard a little bit of it there. And then um, our ideas for it too. We needed to pause and then work on it some more. So we spent, uh, basically, we took it two and turned it into it three. And that's what we're going to show you now. And what we did is we basically hid everything, hid everything, hid all of this stuff down here. And all we focused on are the, the, the high melody, the low melody, and the slow passing melody. And by passing, we mean this line has notes like here in E, which are not in the cadence. There's no E there, but there is an E down here. So, so what we're going to do is play this for you, and then we will bring us home. So here we go. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about this piece is we we really use three musical energy factors. We use tempo, we use volume or loudness. Um, you saw we sped up and slowed down quite a bit. We also used harmony. Um, this line up here, the, what's called the cadence line, is was actually muted. We didn't actually play that. You can see it's muted. It's the, the first, only the three, four, five, the, these three are playing. So the way we did this, the, these two lines, what called the high and low melody, always agree. They always agree with whatever is in the cadence. See, this it may be an octave off. But often, this note down here is not, and that's why it says passing. So the third slow melody, which is like one note for a whole phrase, uh, carries one note all the way across, and it kind of drifts out of 
the cadence and then into the cadence. And the way we picked it was we, we were always guaranteed it would join the cadence by the end of the phrase. So that's kind of a new technique. So we we ended up working with three melody lines and we're going to write this down as a reflection. So we ended working with three melody lines, high, low, and slow. High, low, always in cadence, slow only in cadence on last bar of phrase. But also what we did with that is we reinforced the low melody last bar note, which is also we also called the polyphon. So we could say this is the high backbone and it was the low polyphone. And uh, if we double check, it may be that some, I don't know. Well, by definition, it's lower because we were playing it an octave lower. This was actually an oboe and a bassoon and a contrabass. And then we changed oboe to a polysynth, which has a fast bang attack. And the choir is very soft and it's the bassoon down here so you can hear they they echo each other but the the sweep you're not even going to hear the sweep until it gets to the end We did this on purpose so that we put an accent bang at the beginning, which you can barely hear that E, and then the sweep synth starts low volume and gets louder and louder and louder to the end. So it's slowly picking up and will strongly reinforce the polyphone in the fourth bar, but it's still always playing. It's, it's emerging and playing against the cadence uh, in, with a passing note at times. So anyway, it's giving us a nice um, coming in and out of cadence. Is out of cadence, in cadence, out of cadence, in cadence. And, and it varies. Here it's in cadence, out of cadence, and in cadence, like that. So anyway, we like that. We just decided to focus on the melody lines, and we skipped all this other stuff. And what we're going to do with that, ideas for next time, is uh, move move to to it for, move on to it for with focus on rhythm arpeggio lines. And we did make a point, we, we, we varied quite a bit in here. Like we said, dynamics and harmony, uh, also melody figures. We did a lot of these uh, gamakas and things. Uh, we should add that in here. We used, um, we used, um, Tempo, tempo, dynamic, which is volume. We used uh, harmony uh, in and out of cadence. And we use melody figures, which were the the gamaka and and the the, the vibration. And so those are the four things that we played with on on, on this version. So shout outs to Janie Brady who stopped by. Uh, we appreciate you and those that were here that uh, were providing support quietly in the background. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.